my channel. I'm Brent. It's 9 o'clock at night, and my girlfriend wants to make some banana bread, so we're gonna have some fun and see what happens. So her recipe starts with a couple eggs, so let's get those cracking right quick. Shit. And I don't know how to crack an egg at 20 years old. Try not to cuss. <laughs> Jesus. Always wash your hands. You don't want salmonella? That is. Salmonella. Salmonella, salmonella. Let's get beaten some eggs. And the recipe calls for like two and a third cups of bananas, but we're gonna do two and a half because our measuring cup doesn't have fruits, so <laughs> we decided to go cheap and this is what we ended up with. So crush the bananas up. Now I know this probably isn't the most healthiest thing, but I don't know, they say you eat your fruit, so it's healthy because there's fruit in it. Ignore the amount of sugar that goes into this thing. Were they mashing? They're mashing enough, I think. It doesn't have to be like baby gruel, just smashed. Is that enough. mashed? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, mashed? it's mashing. Okay. I've got at least two more bananas in there. Banana two. Oh, that's only the second one? Yeah. Okay. Let's get busy. Isn't that an 80s song? I don't know. It's probably not about bananas either. But we're gonna make it about bananas. <laughs> probably should have put this in the bullet and could have just like rough chopped it. Mmm. I probably would have pureed it though. Mmm, bananas. Maybe the blender. It's the same thing as the bullet. No, it's not. The blender blends. The magic bullet makes smoothies. <laughs> um, about one and a half. Put one more. Three bananas. Ish. It doesn't specify how many bananas, it just says two and a third cup of bananas. Well, darn you, simplerecipes.com. Get it really good and mashed. Well, he mashes bananas. There's a dog. Hi. Yeah, he thinks he's gonna eat bananas. That's why he sat. Poor dog. How's it looking, babe? It, it, it's literally now one and a half. Is it really? Yes. Look at it. I see. Mash it a little more. A little. Well, we need more bananas. No, just mash it. But it's, it's only. Oh, it's only one and a half. Yeah. Then at best guess, I'm gonna say use all the bananas. It's getting kind of fluffy. It's maybe two. Okay, so I'm just use both of them. So guys, that was a total of five bananas. Five overripe bananas, I should mention. Slightly overripe. Slightly overripe. Should have waited like two more days. Hmm. Again. Mm, I have to check my phone. 
Where's my phone at? I'm trying not to move the camera, but I'm trying to reach my phone on the microwave. Just moved it. Well, I'm shaking. Let's see. Okay. That, mm, that's, yeah, that's two and a half. That's two and a half. Okay. That looks gross. It looks like baby food. You know, in a time of actually, like, survival mode, baby food actually has more nutrition than the MRE meals. You know that? Uh, it won't eat it. Okay. Alright, So... It says... <clears throat> in a large bowl, combine flour, baking soda, and salt. Flour, baking soda. Bring the big bowl over here. And salt. Eat two cups of all-purpose flour. Is that two or four-ish? That's two-ish. Two-ish, okay. I think that's what the recipe said. Right? Two, two cups. One teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon, teaspoon. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Water. And then you whisk that together to incorporate. Use our rainbow-ish whisk. It's pastel. Okay. Okay, and then it says... Um... In a separate bowl, cream together the butter and the brown sugar. Stir in the eggs and mashed bananas until well blended. Don't do this at home, kids. You're using a butter knife? No. I'm using my chef's knife. It's a butter knife. No, it's not. It's a chef's knife. You're fired. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start taking over this channel. Good job, babe. Ow. Did you cut yourself? I need to go to the emergency. <laughs> Do you really? Yep. Don't bleed in the banana bread. Oh, I'm sorry. My first concern should be, are you okay? Are you okay? I put blood, sweat, and tears into my food. Literally. <laughs> That's gross. All right, guys. We got our butter and eggs. Well, and pork. that looks gross. <laughs> some, some brown sugar. Part where I say to ignore that this isn't very healthy. We need three big old chunks of brown sugar. Well, make sure you break it up because you're supposed to pack brown sugar. Otherwise, it's not measured right. You gotta break it up. Pack it in the cup. It breaks up. And okay. It packs. Pack it. Okay. Ah. Right there. Get a couple more rocks. They're not rocks, they're brown sugar. They're brown rocks. <laughs> That's three quarters of a cup? No, it's half a cup. Ish. And then you add what after that? A quarter cup. Oh. Yeah, my math isn't good. Okay. Just... 
As soon as you get that all mixed in, then mix in the mashed bananas. That still looks gross. It even looks worse now that the brown sugar's in. Wait till you add the bananas. Let me see. Let's get a good shot of that. Ooh, God. It's like something used to serve in the grade school cafeteria. I don't know what school you went to. <laughs> a really, really underfunded one. Sounds like it. What are you doing there? Making some baby food in. It's not baby food. What is it? This is Gerber Life Banana Formula. No, it's mashed bananas. Incorporate those really well. I think we should have melted the butter. It's okay, it'll melt in the process. Just incorporate it. Now you're going to incorporate that using the whisk into the flour mixture just until moistened. Huh. <laughs> Moist. So pour it all in? Pour it all in. Okay. Don't over blend it just enough until all the flour is incorporated. Is it incorporated? <laughs> It's incorporated, but I don't Okay, that's fine. Okay, so grab the loaf pan, grease it, get the Crisco. Crisco's life. Uh, there it is. Fun fact, guys, watch where you're spraying this. <clears throat> the safety cap on still? Yes. No, the safety twist is on. <laughs> Excuse me. You see there, lightly grease. I've seen a whole cloud of Crisco come out. I don't know if it goes into one loaf pan or two. I'm pretty sure it only goes into one loaf pan. Let me double check that. Yeah, it might be important. Oh, and if we didn't mention it, uh, preheat the stove before you start. Oven, preheat the oven. No, thing. no, it's not. Okay, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then you're Fahrenheit, gonna. Fahrenheit, I don't know Celsius. 175 degrees Celsius. Mm, it's on the recipe. <laughs> okay, so what did you do? You incorporated everything together. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it says pour batter into prepared loaf pan. So this one? Mm hmm. It still looks gross. I feel like this isn't gonna come out right. Okay. And then you're going to bake in a preheated oven for 60 to 65 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center of the loaf comes out clean. 60 to 65 minutes? Uh-huh. Why don't you go ahead and read off the nutrition facts on this recipe, considering the fact they're here. Believe it or not, it's actually decently healthy. All right, so nutrition facts per serving, which, how much is in a serving? No serving size, apparently, guys. Okay. Um, 229 calories, 8.8 .8 grams of fat, 34.8 grams of carbohydrates, which is a lot less than I thought. 3.8 grams of protein, 51 milligrams of cholesterol, and 223 milligrams of sodium. Okay, babe, go ahead, put it in the oven. All right, so how long in? 60, 65 minutes? Mm -hmm. So we'll slide this baby in. Alexa, set a 65 minute timer. One hour and five minutes, starting now. Okay, so say bye to the viewers and we can always check back in with you as soon as it's done baking. Alright guys, we'll see you in an hour and five minutes, give or take, to see how it came out. Alright guys, it's been about hour 15, it took a little bit longer in our oven. Um, it's all ready to go. Sorry if I sound a little tired, it's 11 o'clock, I'm tired. <laughs> so let's, let's pop this baby out and... We'll uh, see what it looks like. I'm gonna 
burn myself, watch. Is there for me to burn myself? No. <sighs> Did you really? No. Oh. Watcha. I honestly don't make banana bread that often, so I don't know if that looks good. I, I... Looks a little deflated, but I'll still eat it. No, don't use a butter knife to cut it. Oh, okay, you're just moving it. I was going to. Okay, just move it. Hands are greasy. That's my clean kitchen towel. Not anymore. I'm tired. Mm. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. You want to cut it open, or you want to give it another minute? You cut it open, but you use the bread knife. All right, guys. Be gentle. Let's get a little plate out. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. Thanks to a uh, movie magic look, the kitchen's clean. Ish. Ignore those. <laughs> All right, let's get. That's not a bread pan. All right, let's see how it comes out, guys. It it it's hard. What you think? melting the butter that might do something else let them know where we got our recipe from we'll link the recipe in the description area so you guys can go to it hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time we decide to do this